Uh, hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can bind custom domain to the GitHub page and also how can you add custom subdomain to the same GitHub page as well. Okay, let's get started. I have several domains bought on Namecheap and some of them are active but some of them are inactive and we are going to use one of them which is called infoic.com and so it currently it's not used anywhere you can see it's it's not working and we are going to bind this domain to the github page okay first thing we should do is to create github um, repository for example and call it something like info ec and let's check this redmi md.file so we can have something when we create it and let's create yeah okay so we get this uh, maybe <clears throat> okay no this is enough uh, okay so second step is to go to the settings tab and create pages for our github repository go to page choose main click save and that's it the page is generated uh, currently it's not working because it needs one or two minutes to start working meantime i will just put this link here okay so since we don't have other files we only have only one readme file uh, github page will display content of this file when we visit this one let me refresh it and try something to force or caching yeah okay it, it will start working shortly but meantime we can continue so the second step i mean the third step to do is to create CNAME file just called CNAME nothing more and put your URL inside it like this and just click commit new file but first I want to make sure this works yeah so you can see it works we get this content okay continue from here we will just creating CNAME file and add infoec.com inside it and commit new file. Okay, so what does it do? Uh, basically, it will just redirect this page to this link. Uh, so it also needs several minutes. I'm not sure if it will. Ah, okay, so it already works. So when I visit here, it is redirecting me to this site. But so we also need to uh, bind this website and this content. Okay, so for that, we will go to the name chip and control panel, click manage. and so we have several content here so what we need is to um, okay yeah what we need to use our name name servers for it for that i am usually using cloudflare uh, so i'm using cloudflare tennis Okay, let me show you how it can so we are choosing custom dns here and let's go to the cloudflare click add site and add our site voice.com now you have to be registered on cloudflare and on name chip as well but so cloudflare has retire we just choose this one and click continue and so it will try to 
to load the records from this name chip right uh, okay so what we need to do now let's delete everything Now we will add custom tennis records by ourselves. I'm just trying to delete everything now. This automatic tennis records. Yeah, and just click continue. Ah, we are we will add records later. Okay, so now we need to change name servers on name chip. So we need to specify uh, Cloudflare DNS. Okay, we will just copy this one and paste it here, and we will also copy this one and paste it here, and just. And just click this check mark and that's it. Okay, so now okay done check name servers. Come on. Ah uh, okay, so I'm so it's better to click this one because it will always use HTTPS. I'm not sure if you want this, but I will still click this one. And yeah, okay, so now we connected Cloudflare and Namecheap to each other, but we still want to connect uh, Cloudflare and GitHub. So we need to do that as well. And for that, let's go to, uh, let's go to DNS tab. And we will need to add records here so that we can connect GitHub and Cloudflare to each other. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, okay, now, so what we need is to add three records uh, which will connect Cloudflare account to GitHub. And for that, we will just click add record. First record is A. And we will write our site URL here, invoice.com, and we will need to specify GitHub uh, server IP here, and it is this. Yeah, you, you will need to write this down. And just click save, save. And we will add another record, same name. So this is yet another GitHub server IP, but we will write four in the end instead of three. And last one, we will also need CNAME, CNAME record. Let's choose CNAME here. It's a www here. And for the content, let's use info ec com and that's it yeah this is the only steps we needed on the cloud layer and now not now but it will need some time before it starts working maybe we can try https yeah. yeah we will wait some time to let it work out and once it will be back, I will check and we'll continue from that point. Okay, so some time passed, about one hour, and we can see it now. So basically, it works now. If you if we visit it in policy.com, we can see that it works. And we have the same content as it is inside readme file. Uh, okay, so next thing is creating subdomain for our website. For that, we will create the new 
repository and let's call it gifs and okay so it's already um, it's already here okay gifs um, like okay let's call it gif and let's again add readme let's create repository go to settings go to pages uh, choose the main and click save okay page is updated so it will need about one or two seconds until it will be ready for live but <clears throat> so we we have time and let's add the new file here call it c name again and write down the sub domain for our website and it will be like this gif.invoice.com and commit it and we also need to add the new record inside cloudflare account let's open our invoice but yeah your subdomain and let's add the new name so we will need to add another two record and we just need to create a subdomain for it like i mean uh, we don't need to copy invoice but we just need to put gif which will be the same as subdomain like this okay so go to here and just copy this one so this also still needs to be connected to github so this is github uh, github server ip and let's add another record call it gif again and use second uh, ip address and let's see okay so we also can um, can change this readme file and call it for example gif abdomain so we can make sure it's correct and let's see if it is done or not so it needs some time but let's check still gif.invoice.com yeah so it's not working now i will give it some time and i will get back to you two hours has passed and we already can see that it works for our subdomain so you can see it's exactly the same content as in your github repository and yeah that's it please keep in mind that it may need up to 24 or even 48 hours to to start fully working and what's good is that we have this log symbol here which means our site is secure because it uses github pages ssl certificate so it works well okay thank you very much goodbye